Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Sunshine and a little bit more humidity here across Central Texas as high temperatures climb to 94 degrees here in Waco. That's a little bit above our average. Average is about 90, 91, and that's what we're sitting at at this hour. 93 degrees in Temple, 91 in Colleen, and temperatures about the same across the board. So everybody in the 90s, everybody's starting to see a little bit more humidity. So that means your heat index jumps up just a little bit. Feels like 97 right now in Mahia, 94 in the Palestine area. Upper 90s down toward Brenham, 99 degrees at this hour, and you can see not too bad over toward Brownwood. Current heat index right at 90 degrees. Our satellite and radar show pretty quiet conditions. Granted, we do have a few cumulus clouds passing through, but I don't think we'll see any rainfall here this evening. It'll remain high and dry. A few areas to our southeast, though, seeing some scattered showers and some isolated thunder trying to pop up here once again. Quiet for the most part, even quiet down toward the Brazos Valley. They'll have to go down toward the Bastrop area and then even just to the east of San Marcos to see a little rain. A lot of this is generated with the heat of the day. So once we lose that heat, eight, nine o'clock tonight, we start to lose a lot of these showers. They all start to dissipate. Take a look at our future cast. This is at seven o'clock tonight. Skies partly to mostly clear. Temperatures will be falling back down into the uh, mid to upper 70s at midnight. You can see how skies are mainly clear. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, clear skies, quiet weather, temperatures uh, basically falling into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And then throughout the morning tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. We're going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. But just like today with the heat in the afternoon, could bub up a few clouds. I think any of the moisture may be right along 45 and then areas off to the east. So I think we're looking at dry conditions with highs tomorrow, low to middle 90s by tomorrow night. Clear skies, quiet weather. We'll kind of do it all over again with temperatures slowly falling by early in the morning on Wednesday into the upper 60s. And then throughout the day on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Once again, temperatures mid to upper 90s. The humidity slowly starts to increase here over the next couple of days. Still not bad. I think most of the uh, shower activity, if it does occur, or the cloud cover mainly to our east and to our southeast. Most areas, especially uh, west of I-35, will remain high and dry. Here's your forecast then for tonight. Mostly clear skies. Again, a few clouds out there now, but we'll clear it out. 68 degrees, the low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. A few clouds moving in in the afternoon, but no rainfall. 94 degrees will be the high temperature. Now, as we look ahead here, take a look at the WC Tractor 7-day planning forecast, and you'll notice those temperatures really starting to hold in the mid-90s. 95 degrees on Wednesday. Wednesday, 96 on Thursday, 96 on Friday. You get the idea here. As we hit the weekend, a little bit more humidity starts to creep in. And of course, don't forget Sunday. Sunday is Father's Day. 20% chance of a pop-up shower, but uh, again, chances are very, very low right now. It's going to be hot, upper 90s with our heat index in the low 100s. And then down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, quiet weather right on through the end of the week. We're looking at 94 degrees on Saturday, 96 on Father's Day in the College Station. Just slight chances of rain. Nothing that will help out at home. And right now for the month, Adam, we are below average. We're about nine inches above for the year, which means you still need to water the flowers and the grass.